Good evening, Hyper Spinners. Today we're going to be talking about the Sega Dreamcast bezel set, so get ready. Alright guys, it's been a while since I've made a video, and here we go. We are talking about the bezel project. Uh, they are still on their way. They're completing a number of systems. Uh, I've got I think we've got three different systems that we've got to catch up on here, uh, but that is what we're here to uh, talk about. So we've got the Sega Dreamcast this time. We've got approximately 300 and you know 50 some bezels. Uh, it's the full set, if you will. Uh, 347, if you, uh, to be exact, is what we're looking at, and this is hyperspin style here. So everything is uh, gearing up, ready to go, and you can see that. Uh, yeah, the, the naming conventions, even duplicates, uh, as you can see here, uh, to support anything that you might have in your XML. So, same sort of story. We've got the bezel INI and the bezel uh, PNG. And what we'll do is we'll take a look at some of this uh, work that the team's been doing. So let's go ahead and take a look here. And we will make this uh, large. I've already done some... Uh, QA, if you will, just to kind of make sure that everything's going to look all right, and it in fact does. And this is one of the systems that work wonderfully with the bezels in general. So let's go ahead and uh, just start scrolling through some of these so you can kind of see what you're getting. Same look and feel, we've got the controller down at the bottom, and then we've got the artwork uh, kind of displayed just above there. And... Let's go ahead and scroll through these. So it's been a while for tutorials. I do plan on continue to make, you know, additional tutorials. If you guys have suggestions, definitely hit me up on Discord or comment in the uh, video below. And uh, we'll be making sure that we get those tutorials made out uh, to you guys. So I do enjoy them. It does... Uh, Help me to you know to see what you guys think about the tutorials and you know what you'd like to see uh, because I, I really think I'm helping you guys from what I'm reading in the comments so that's always a plus so let's go ahead and keep going through these bezels and I've been talking with the bezel project uh, on Facebook I'd love for these guys once you know the, all the the bezels and the, the goals that they have uh, for the project uh, complete. I'd love to see them on a hyper marquee <laughs> project where we've got a, a bezel or a marquee for every game. Now that would be a dream, but we're probably a long ways away. I did see something here. Uh, so as I'm QAing, how I, I kind of do that is I want to make sure that there's a white background in the center, and then there's nothing that kind of catches my eye when I uh, sort through these. So you can see that this border here is a little different than that border there. I don't think that's a problem. It's totally fine. So I do these videos as much for me as it is for you. Uh, this is sort of my second QA take and it's looking great. All right, so I know there's two other bezel sets that I need to go through, and that's the Super Famicom, and I think I don't want to spoil anything. Uh, I think it's another Sega system, but let's go ahead and wait for those videos. Uh, I'm probably going to be doing the uh, next couple videos will be on the bezel sets, and we will show you where to place these bezels and where to get them on the FTP. It's the same sort of story uh, from the past bezel sets that have been done. We just want to drop this in the rocket launcher folder under media and the bezel folder. So things are looking great. Oh, see, there you go. So that one is not ready yet. Oh, but it is. Oh, but it is. Let's just double check again. Yeah, see, that's that's okay. The transparencies in the background there, 
but that does not display as transparent for whatever reason. That's bizarre. I'm gonna, man, I'm gonna look at this again. Make sure that this is a PNG. Yeah, this is a PNG. Um, let's just delete a millionaire. Let's just save over it, just to be safe. Let's see if it changes. I don't think it will. I think it's just a thumbnail. Oh, and there you go. So all the thumbnails have decided to just, you know, do whatever it wants. <laughs> and those are looking really good. So I'm going to back out just to be safe here, and I'm going to just take a look at those again. This is where we're going to be dropping the bezel pack. It's under Rocket Launcher, wherever your Rocket Launcher root folder is, media and bezels. And you'll just drop this Sega Dreamcast uh, folder in here. So there's Sega Dreamcast, and we're going to go down. Well, let's just go ahead and do this. We're going to search for the PNGs again. We're going to scroll down. Yeah. Uh, that's a bummer. Well, it looks like they're still looking good. For whatever reason, it is displaying the black background, but they're all transparent. So I'm going to be okay with that. Otherwise, the games just would not display. And I don't think that's going to be the case here. And we're going to open up one more. Just for funsies, we're going to just try a game here. All right. That's, that's the one we're going to be testing here. Uh, let's see. Which one is this? You know what? I'm probably one of the few people on the planet that haven't or hasn't beaten this game, uh, Senyu. Um, I don't know. It's supposed to be a great game. I haven't gone through all of it. Oh, but this is a different game. What? So <laughs> okay, we're going to launch this to make sure that that is looking all right. And that is a hack of some kind, I think. So what? Yeah, yeah. That's not even like a legit... Oh, let's double check here again. And what I've done is I've... Um... Oh, it's a Japan one. Yeah, that's that's why. So the bezel project is awesome on its detail. So you can see that there's uh, Japanese as well as, uh, you know, the English or USA versions. So that is why I don't see that in the XML. We're going to try this one here. Hopefully this isn't a Japanese one as well. Yeah, wild metal. Let's go ahead and launch this thing. Here we go. So we're going to give it a second. And here we go. It's going to look beautiful. I trust it. There she is. We're going to go ahead and close it. So let's go ahead and find out where I'm going to drop this so you guys can use this thing. So it's going to be under the FTP, as always. It's going to be under Official Ninjas Dojo. Hyperspin, Rocket Launcher, Media, and Bezels. You're going to find a Sega Dreamcast folder, and that's going to have all the bezels in there. So just drop that in your Rocket Launcher folder. Same path as the path in the FTP, and you'll be up and ready to go. Uh, I'll go ahead and pull up the settings for the Sega Dreamcast. We're going to go to Settings. We're going to go to Bezels. We want to make sure that those things are turned on. Bezel enabled, yes. Uh, if your global settings is anything else, you'll just manually select uh, true here. But I've got that set to my global settings and that's all there is to it. So the INIs are all included and it will make things automatically uh, appear for you. So go ahead and grab that off the FTP and we will catch you next time.